So uh, I have not done much, but I have done something. So <laughs> there are things that I need to discuss today. Uh, first is there are few things that are merged but are not being displayed on the website. So that part is still needs to be fixed either by Kevin or by Elizabeth. Yeah, that's that's my bad. I will do that today. As a matter of fact, I'm doing that right now. Um, yeah, I'll, so if I'll you take a break from it. Yeah, if second. you look at the status section as uh, highlighted, needs to be displayed on the website. Like if you look at the column C. What should I be looking at? Uh, can you open the Excel sheet and that uh, link that I have shared in the chat? Yep. Uh, okay. So if you scroll down the status section, yep, needs to be displayed on the website. So these things are not displayed on the website yet. Okay. So, uh, either, uh, yeah. so either Kevin or Elizabeth can point those pages and bring those on the website so one thing i did notice is that some of the some of the folder structures that we're getting rid of haven't been removed yet uh in the community in the community repo uh i, I have tried to delete many but not all of them because uh, once the things are merged, then what is left, then I'll start deleting those. Okay, I was I was going by the community repo to determine what needed to be uh, presented on the website. Okay. So the yeah, so the community initiatives and working groups that's probably gone, right? Yes. So community initiatives, mm -hmm. uh, these subfolders will be deleted. So if you if you look at the Excel sheet, we are currently following uh, the structure of proposed structure in the Excel sheet for the display. Okay, where does uh, the chaos slack bot MD, are we keeping that somewhere? Uh, no, that was supposed to be deleted. Okay, so that is an active project, right? Uh, which one slack yeah. bot? Yeah. Yeah. So we probably need it somewhere. Yeah, okay. We can point to um, because that's the Slack bot repo keeps other documentation in the wiki in that repo. So we could just point it to that. Would we point it from the uh, like the working groups page? So chaos groups, uh, working groups. Would we point it from here? Is that is that a working operations. group or is that is yeah, that maybe an operations we can, working group? Yeah. This can be in the operations thing. Yeah, I think that makes sense. What do you all think? Yeah, I mean, if it can just if it's just going to be a pointer. Yes. Then yeah. Is badging a operations working group or would it be or would it fit better as a context working group operations as per governance document so if you look, if you look at the governance document it is part of uh, operations uh, it, the governance document is not added here yet but it is on the github What's that document? Is it just called governance? Yes. Go to the governance folder. Uh, no, within community governance folder. Yep, this governance folder and then uh, uh, governance MD, this one. This defines the one which is approved by the board uh, for all the chapters, uh, software yeah. groups and everything. Yeah, according to the definition of what an operations working group is and what a context working group is, uh, I would say that DEI badging fits better as a context working group. Uh, 
So if you look at the operation section, uh, operations, yep. If, if it's in the context, then I can like, uh, move it to the context section from the operations. Right now, badging is a part of operations. So the, the keyword in context, in the context working group is like uh, context. Into, into practice in meaningful ways. Yes. Uh, so the operations working group, operations are about the daily functioning of the project, mm. generally speaking. Right. So DEI badging isn't about the daily functioning of the project. It is about using uh, putting uh, okay. metrics into practice in meaningful ways. Yeah, that makes sense. So it will be similar to OSPO, TAP ecosystem, university science, and then badging. Yeah, I think I, yeah, I think that's probably the best fit. Okay. Does anyone else have thoughts on that or? Let me make a note of that so that I can. Add yeah. it. Um, I mean, based on this, it's a better fit there. It's still kind of an odd fit there because it's it's better than here. Yeah. <laughs> but it's not. <laughs> that's, kind of, that's why we had the uh, I think the initiatives label before. <clears throat> yeah, I mean, I, it, it's, it's okay. I don't need to like mm -hmm. split hairs on it. It might even fit better with the software group than uh, uh, context. It's okay. I mean, we had talked about at some point starting a context working group for like event organizers, you know, and so maybe just having it here temporarily kind of with the notion that we may start that group a little bit later is fair. Okay. I think the operations are working. I'll I'll update it and create a PR for that. That should be easy enough. Yep. Yeah. Okay. So I'm, and then But anyway, in answer to your, your overall concern uh about getting that stuff on the website, but that'll be done today. Okay. Okay. Yeah, so, even even this governance document needs to be updated. I think uh, I have marked it. Let me see if the governance document I yep add missing on the website link. Yep. Yeah, I'll add it. Um, As a matter of fact, that'll be the next one I do. So to be the, uh, the chaos groups page is actually done. Uh, you're just you're just cached. Yeah, see that. Yeah. Okay. When you hit when you hit it before, it had the the four there. Now it has three. Is this one? I guess is this one done? Yeah. Okay. I think there was one or two document missing in it. Uh, that. I have to look at the. Well, we can get. We don't need that. Yeah. Yeah. I'll. Uh, it's. I think it's. It's mostly where it needs to be. I just need to delete some stuff and make okay. sure that uh, anything that's missing goes in. So. Okay. It'll be. It will be done today. So. Okay. okay. Um. It kept on falling off my to-do list. So. Okay. This is the one that we need to discuss today. How to contribute section. Uh, so this that's the one where we we just don't have that many documents yes so we have many documents but they are like different things yeah so look at uh, the first is like entire page and then these are the different pages in it within that <laughs> so if you if you go to the uh, current uh, proposed structure yep, this section and how to contribute section so right now, uh, if you go to the current structure section, 
Where am I going? Oh. Uh, this step. Yep. Here is uh, scroll it down. These are the documents that we have community guidelines, which is like uh, adhere to the community rules and regulations, things like these. Metrics, DCO setup, which is how to set up your DCO thing, and uh, content contribution, which is mostly on the blog contribution. Uh, and what we discussed was like making a new thing that how to contribute to the website how to contribute to the different working groups things like this so if you so most of these things will be deleted in that scenario and in the proposed structure section we are going to create new pages or maybe a one page and outline everything but the the dco setup and the uh uh is yeah, there and one that will like, stay? Yeah, the, will, okay. Uh, the the podcast, right? So the DCO setup in the podcast can stay, you know, in the current in the current. Uh, uh, those the two that we're keeping, and the rest are deleted. Yes. So now we have a website, like uh, how to contribute to a website that we have to guide it. We don't have a page on that. How to contribute to the website? that page needs to be created. Similarly, uh, we have uh, uh, how to contribute to metric that is there, but it's not directly pointing how to contribute to metric. So, so it's like very uh, at different pointers at, at a different places that needs to be spelled out and like, Point it to one place. Like in the last in the last meeting, we had proposed identifying some documents that need to be created. Yes. And then maybe having a conversation about how those documents would be created if we could ask for volunteers from working groups or ask uh, we're working them ourselves. Uh, so. To be clear for the for the how to contribute folder, uh, what Vinod is talking about is creating very explicit how to contribute documents for specific tasks, uh, yes. which we which we do not have currently, other than for the DCO setup and the uh, uh, is it the the blog or the I'm sorry the I keep on it's it's not on the spreadsheet there so I keep on missing it it's the uh, yep. uh podcast right yes where's the podcast at podcast is not here directly uh, in this section it uh, the podcast has its own page at some other places uh, that I have pointed here. Oh, I, th I thought there was a podcast uh, document. It's not here in the current structure. We can create a separate page for the how to contribute to podcasts. So, my, I have a couple thoughts on this. So, we do have, we have this. Okay. So when we are asking for how to contribute to the chaos project, who is this for? Is it for newcomers? Because if it is for newcomers, we have a proposed quick start for newcomers. We do have that. If it's how to contribute for existing members, so like say you're an existing member and you'd like to participate in the podcast, like, is it, because that's a different person. So I would say it's both of those people. I think it's, this is, this would be about documenting, documenting our processes. Uh, for processes that need to be documented. For example, and I know, so it, I know we're not doing a metrics review now, but if we were doing a metrics review, it's very, it would be very helpful to have that process documented. Uh, if we are currently working on the website, there are some things that uh, uh, 
new contributors and and uh, core contributors may not know about how to uh, contribute to the website. Um, yes. So there are there are processes that we we have for doing specific things on WordPress, and there are processes that we have for doing things in the GitHub repo that would get pulled into the uh, into WordPress. So I think all of the uh, uh, all of the working groups kind of have processes for what they do. Uh, the the way that we define metrics, we have a process for that. Uh, we have a process for uh, DEI badging, right? How the badging is done. So I know there's some uh, there's some documentation around that. Uh, that could fit here as well. But this will be more focused on how to contribute to uh, badging thing or how yeah. to contribute. To, this will be like answering this how to contribute to a particular section of the chaos. Yeah, documenting specific processes and specific things that we do. Yes. Was the idea anyway? So the, all of the previous how to contribute documents were really high level, right? Uh, like really, really high level. Uh, and then some of them are some of them that we had were just like how to contribute to GitHub, uh, which also isn't it isn't it's helpful for people learning how to uh, work in open source, but it's not helpful for kind of contributing to chaos in, a, uh, in any specific way. Overall, I have concerns about making documents that are really specific because maintaining them is going to be almost impossible, I would suggest. We, we have subtle shifts in the way we do work all the time. Okay. And then always working to track that down like the list that you were mentioning kevin i mean i agree we have processes for all those things but like keeping all of those square like we could do one giant push saying can you all define your processes and then six months later we'd have to my guess is probably do the whole same thing again right um, and so and then i'm also with you kevin like providing like just high level things is not helpful either like so you know i struggle with the 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 really detail is challenging just because i think it's going to unravel pretty quickly and we can't maintain it um elizabeth you go ahead uh i was just going to say we have a whole team of writers that are really looking for things to do so i feel like if we involve more folks in this, um, even just like dividing it up and saying, okay, you you personally are responsible for this one document or whatever it ends up being. But like, it doesn't have to just be this core group that keeps it updated because we do have a group of folks that are like ready, willing, wanting to get involved. And so if we give, if we just kind of distribute the work a little, I think that might be helpful for sustainability. Because I, 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 I I kind of want to push back a little on the not getting too detailed and I totally get what you're saying Matt because I can guarantee you the podcast information is not right <laughs> because nobody's ever updated it so I can guarantee you that's out of date um yeah. but is like just for a prime example but um I think maybe if we if we did just include the the writers that are um in our community that they can help us with that that challenge in other words I don't think we should not write it because it's hard to maintain i think we should solve the maintenance problem first if that makes sense that's just my opinion though i have no strong feelings really uh i would add to that that we don't need to get carried away like i don't think we we should go fishing for a bunch of documents to create i think we we just need to kind of identify maybe some key process documents that need to be made and then we create the others as we need them. Right. Uh, so I'm not I'm not talking about creating like 20 pages with a tutorial on how to do every single thing that we do in chaos. 
uh, I'm just talking about kind of the the key processes that uh, that need to be uh, uh, kind of described so that uh, uh, so that it is easy for people to uh, contribute uh, in in tasks that we do on a regular basis. And I would go back to the. Uh, uh, I know it's not it's not a great example because the the review process is isn't uh, isn't as complicated as it was prior. Uh, but we did we did have that process documented. Uh, maybe we didn't do a very good job of, of documenting it, but it, it seemed like uh, uh, people were always confused about how that process worked. Uh, So a uh, maybe the 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 goal of the knowledge base I would I would hope would be to kind of overcome some of the confusion around some of the key things that we do. Yeah, and also I think it helps remove the um, uh, the the bus factor with some of these. Like if Georg is the only one that knows how to do podcast stuff, then like Georg might not be here or he might be on vacation or whatever. So um, I think just helping document some of the things um, helps re release us from those bottlenecks or from that bus factor for these individual projects. Like the fact that Enoch is really the only one that knows how, how the badging bot works. Like, I think he's trying to bring more people in, but like, that's just a prime example of like, yeah, it, by documenting, we, we kind of are helping ourselves not have that problem. So I would maybe recommend this then. So I, I really like something like this that's on my screen right now because it's more of a process on how to get engaged and find the things that are meaningful to you okay. than it is about showing the actual documents for, say, example, in the example of the newcomer bot. I would, I would encourage folks like Enoch to like kind of start documenting that and also folks like Georg to start documenting say the podcast process but I'd be really hesitant that we maintain those processes here on the website I would prefer to say if you're interested in how these work we encourage you to join these groups and here's how to join those groups and once you're in those groups they will talk about the processes by which they work. My concern is, is that if we try to maintain the Slack bot processes on here, it will change slightly and they will begin to deviate and we'll have to continue to bring them together. So on the website, we tell people how to get to those processes and how to find them, but we don't maintain them here. So, so this fourth point is where we, uh, we should have a uh, pointers here to go. Yeah, no, so this is this is the quick start for new contributors. This is an example that I'm showing. Yes. This is just like how to even kind of part start participating in the chaos project, you know, kind of at large. Okay. All right. All right. So to your, I think that I think that's a fair point, Matt. And I, uh, I, I would say I generally agree with you. It would be better if these if these how to documents existed. Uh, in there, the place that they come from. So I, th I think that a little bit, uh, I wasn't proposing that, but that's connected to what I was, what I had said earlier, where we figure out, figure out what documents are needed and who would create them. And maybe we reach out to the working groups or software groups to have those done. Uh, so th I think that would still hold up. It would just be a matter of them hosting those documents themselves and us just pointing to them. Uh, but I, I do think that it's a little bit different than it's not just for new contributors. This is just an example, Kevin. This is just yeah. like a process of how to get people involved. So I'm not arguing that this is this is the thing that we just leave. Right. Uh, so when we right now we have a uh, we have an entire folder dedicated to how to contribute. So what would that, does the folder, yeah, so does the folder go away 
and is it replaced with a one pager that gives you the the links to to all of these relevant how to contribute documents if that's the case maybe the uh so the folder goes away and we create one document that it's a one pager or a two pager that points to all these different places where would that document exist in our current knowledge base it'll be just then when you go to the big tile how to contribute it'll point out everything in there if you open the okay. website and click how to contribute tile in the knowledge base and i don't think the my suggestion is the pointer here in how to contribute is not to their contribution documents it's to the group you want to participate with okay and once you're there they will talk about how okay. to contribute that's my suggestion and if they have a contribution document it can be shared. you can ask for it in the first meeting right okay but the uh so but it, it, so it wouldn't be a one pager document we would ask the we would point directly to for example an auger how to contribute document that would be on the auger website no and it, an no. auger would have its own tile underneath the uh how to contribute no it would be a one pager yeah it'd just a, be a one pager that says if you're interested in contributing to auger okay. we encourage okay. you to join the auger slack channel and enjoy join the auger meeting and from there, you can start getting a better handle on how to contribute. And if you're interested in participating in the podcast, we suggest you join the podcast channel and ask for how to contribute. Those, those kind of things. I'm just my concern is is that if we and then once they're in the once they're in those settings, they can yep. talk to folks about how to how they need to locally contribute within those context groups or working groups or whatever it might be. Okay. Software projects. Yeah, so the the newcomer documents that we're creating then, would we also want to, so for example, this document here, this document lives on the website. Uh, as far as I know, uh, this document is not in the community repo currently. I think you're right would this document then go into the how to contribute so this we would one? have a yeah uh, so we would have space in that how to contribute uh 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 area to to add more new contributor documents uh which so new contributor documents i can imagine us creating more of those as we go I think I think it is right there under quick start for newcomers. Ah. Oh, there you go. Oh, that's in the old the old uh in the old uh this is the old one, right? No, I think that's the right one. No, that's it. It is the one which website is pointing to. Oh, maybe it is the old one then. So so it would stay, I think under uh Vinod, did you leave it in there or did you delete it when you uh I haven't made your changes I haven't made any changes how to contribute because this was the one which we need to discuss finalize then I can like start working on it I haven't worked on it this section at all it was just like I want to bring it what to do with this entire big folder so so I would say based on this discussion and if, if you agree with me the two documents that we know exist in how to contribute would be that one page document that points to uh, right. points to different documented processes. Okay. Uh, and then the other one would be any new contributor documentation that's been created recently, like the quick start for newcomers. So um, the quick start for newcomers points at the bottom of that document points to the next in the path. Is which is contributor roadmap participating. So like next step become a contributor. Yes. So that's the thing that we're so we can change that or like point them wherever we want once they get through that quick start. This yeah. was kind of our idea before where we wanted to have a path for them. What I am thinking is keep the previous page as it is and then point here we are right. Okay, if you want to contribute to Augur, 
join the auger slack channel uh go to the auger github and start engaging over there period so yeah the, yeah the yeah at the end of this document we could have that list that yes that this, matt was describing right yes that list will be on this document particularly And that's the old team, so we could point yeah. whatever. But but that contributing, if you go back, Matt, I think you're sharing Matt. Um, that is also in that how to contribute folder. See it right there, contributor roadmap participate. Yeah. Is Sean coming back? Did he, did he disappear? Yeah. You know, sure. he jumped. He jumped in because he had uh, wanted to talk about something. Well, he was going to, yeah, it was the thing that came up with respect to risk, I think, yesterday. But yeah, he wanted some, some locations on where to create some Augur documentation and Grimoire Lab documentation. Uh, you want to maybe text him, see if he comes back. We could probably jump him ahead if, if he needs well, to. Are we done? But is that this conversation? Sorry, I have a dog that wants to like. My lap, so. Yeah, I think yeah, I think it's just like the location of where to put that. Yeah. So the knowledge, but the knowledge base versus on the Augur site. Like I think he wasn't sure. Okay. What he did, gotcha. So. And the rest of the pages are going to go away from this folder. So the so the quick start stays, and the what's the other one that stays? roadmap one and the roadmap stays and everything else is going to go away is going to go away quick start and roadmap pages are going to okay let's so see. the is it design that design contribution document i i will say i've used what? that software one because it so, lists the stacks that, that? That, uh, that development, I've used that a lot actually in the newcomer hangout when people say, "Okay, I want to, I want to do some software stuff," and this helps me remind, helps me remember what stacks are being used and what technologies are being used. So I actually find this a little bit helpful, at least the top part, um, to like point people or at least tell them high level what technologies are being used in each software. So if there's a place to put that somewhere, that's just quick. A quick reference would be great. Like, I don't know if we need to have all of this. Um, maybe, I don't know. But having that, like, just quick reference of what stacks are being used and what technologies are is super helpful. Is that for both? Is that for both? projects both of them are using are they using the same technology <laughs> i no. don't know i i go off of whatever is at the top so if nobody's yeah, updating that then i don't know it's like grimoire lab like would have things around kibana yeah and yeah. elastic yeah yeah percival elastic and kibana but i don't know with the current structure we are not thinking of keeping this stuff I'm not sure if it's yeah. I'm, I'm not sure if it's accurate. Yeah, and it's just a lot of information that we don't maybe need to. So I mean, it, it might be information that gets edited and could be used in that uh, in the specific the... groups. No, no, the uh, the the online class stuff. The onboarding uh, stuff, yeah, yeah the like on... courses, yeah, that's true. Yeah. So it, it it might be a document that would be helpful to well, make sure it's accurate, but take and, and use it, use it there. Is there a, like a way to just uh, archive it or like hold on to it just while well, as we're building those courses out, there might be useful stuff. I think it, it automatically archives when we delete it. Yeah, just trying to find that because you got to go back and find the right branch and you know. Not, are you tagging it when you're deleting it? Uh, tagging in what sense? You just add a tag to the uh, uh, add a tag to it so it's uh, searchable. No, I haven't put any tag on any deleted item. We could do that okay. if you uh, if you think it's uh, 
uh, we could just generally add a tag to the these the, the pull requests where we're deleting this these okay. individual documents. That way, uh, Elizabeth, if you're searching for them archived, you can find them easy, easily. Okay. Uh, it's just a matter of figuring out what tag to add. So, I'll just, I was just thinking while I was trying to help my dog, but um, there seems to be like contributor paths. I don't know if this is right, and contributor documents. And and I, I know that they're kind of intertwined, I'm sure. But like I feel like at the website, at this level here, we're just trying to set paths for people. Like right. here's the path to go down. And it'll ultimately connect with another path, like the auger path of how to contribute or the Grimoire Lab path of how to contribute or the DEI badging, or you get the whole idea. Like we we can't, I don't think that we should attend to all those paths here at this right. level. We just kind of that high level path to point people to the other paths. But then it does make me think like, we need to make sure that those other folks have those paths because we don't want to just send them and then it's like a cliff, <laughs> you know, and they're just like, bah, <laughs> you know. I think that goes back to what I was saying at the beginning. We need to we need to identify key or critical documents that need to be created, and we need to then reach out to those people and and see if we can get those documents made. So even if they're not being housed in the knowledge base itself, the those the the documentation for chaos. Uh, and the documentation of our of our processes and the documentation of, of the software it needs to it needs to exist and we need to point to it explicitly. Yeah, and it may be different in different groups, like how right. they put that together. I'm okay with that. Like we don't have yeah. to, have, and I don't. We haven't talked about this, and I know nobody's suggesting it, but like I don't think we have to have one uniform way of of kind of representing those paths for those different groups. Like the way that Grimoire Lab may want to represent it through, as an example, through like markdown files or videos or however it might be. That's up to them. That's the path they have. And the way that Enoch may want to do it with the badging bot, totally different. You know, he might say the path to contribution is attending meetings every every week. That's our path. That's the way we work. Um and I know nobody was suggesting to standardize that, but it's just that we can hand it off to, to somebody. So, I'm oh, oh, sorry. Ahead. I was just going to say, so we had that doc with the teams and that's uh, out of date, but like something like that would maybe help us figure out what teams, <laughs> what teams there are and what teams yeah. we need to point to. So I know we're yeah. getting rid of this doc, but that might be a good starting point to just kind of go and through. It helps us like mm -hmm. identify who we need to say, oh, okay, yeah. just yeah. make sure you need to be thoughtful about like, yeah, to contribute to the mentorship program. Right, right. You, and then that's up to you. Yeah. And then if the teams need uh, help, that's where we have our all of our technical writers who are ready, willing to participate yeah. and help. There you go. I like that. Yeah. Maybe should we edit this document specifically to, uh, to try to track where we need where we need these documents created. We yeah. Turn, should we turn this into a, a table? And, yeah, this would be a great start because like Yeah, can, that's where it started as a spreadsheet. So, <laughs> so we're going full circle. I love it. Yeah, this would be a great start. So I will say do. oh sorry. No, just I was just gonna say just for us. <laughs> just to start reaching out, knowing who to reach out to. Yep. Yeah, so I, I do is some of this stuff if it if it does like if we do need a how to contribute document for mentorship that might exist in the community repo. Uh, I don't know where else it would that would exist. Uh, the YouTube channel chaos Two, that might exist in the community repo as well because there's not a. Uh, 
There's not a, a YouTube repo. Uh, ChaosCon could exist on the website in the website repo. Uh, actually, to be honest with you, we could take Chaos Tube, Chaos Con, and Chaos Cast and put them all in the website repo. If we're looking for external places to, to put those. Yeah, they might exist already. I'm pretty sure. That, I'm pretty sure there is a Chaos Cast, a couple documents there on how to do it, but. Yep. There are documents on Chaos Cast detailing our entire structure or process. So, so my question then is like, if uh, we have now two things, one is direct uh, within the community, how to contribute, and then uh, a main link, how to contribute within the community link in the, on the website. So should we keep two separate pointers on the same thing? If you just click to the community, we have quick start for new contributors. And then in the knowledge base, we have a how to contribute. This will be cleaned and we, we are going to keep just two pages for those four steps, how to contribute. And then uh, next page pointing to different resources about how to contribute. So the quick start for newcomers button, that's a shortcut. That's a shortcut. And and in the knowledge base, how to contribute, main page will point to this page again. No. No? No, it'll 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 uh when you when you click on how to contribute, it'll pull up it'll pull up a choice between multiple documents. Okay. Okay. One of them will be one of them will be the contributor roadmap. One of them will be the the document that Matt had proposed. Uh, but I think the that how to contribute folder would hold it would still hold more than one document because we we can't we can't put it all in, we can't get it all in one document. So and and that will be just a pointer like okay how to contribute to Augur join the Slack. Go to the GitHub. That's it. How no, that, that how to contribute to how to contribute to Augur would be inside the document that Matt created. So that would be a it would be a uh, it'd be a large doc. What's that? The, the, we can call like the path document or something like that. Okay. Yeah, path path to contribution or uh, contribution path document. Okay. So. Uh, so if, if somebody clicks how to contribute tile on the knowledge base, it'll show up one list, right? No. No, it'll behave the same way that all of the other all of the other tiles behave. When you pull it up, it'll give you multiple documents. So if if we uh, that is the confusion I have right now. So if you go to the proposed structure in the Excel sheet we have what should be uh, what those different subtitles will be here Conti how to contribute to website how to contribute to metric how to contribute to augur things like these uh so matt recommended uh paths to contribution as one okay uh uh yeah what was the what was that uh paths for newcomers is that what the is that what the and yeah, then a, a quick start and then the contrib contribution path participating. Yeah, quick start and quick start for newcomers. Uh, participation path for newcomers. Is that what it was? Uh, it was we had like the, we, our idea originally was like we'd have a contribution path and it, it would be like, OK, now you're on participating. So it would be contribution path dash participating. And then the next one would be like leading or maintaining or something like that. So but we didn't get that far. <laughs> we just kind of stopped right there. Oh, contributor regular roadmap. contributing, yeah. So it was okay. like newcomer participating, con contributing, leading. Okay, so okay. contributor roadmap is the document that we are that we we think we can edit and just have a list at the end. Okay. So so yeah. so I go back to the go back to the spreadsheet. So quick start for newcomers and contributor roadmap are the two documents that would exist in there right now. 
Okay. Yes. And oh. then we would have the ability to add more in there should we need to, but maybe we just focus on those for now. So what is the difference between uh, last two? Like this path to contribution and contributor roadmap. I think they're the same. They're the same document. So it should be just one document then. Yeah, you yeah. can take out pass to contrib contribution, Matt. Unless that's a header. Okay. So now these are the two documents that will live in how to contribute section. Yeah, so and I'll be honest with you, I don't looking at this. So I, I really like I really like this page. I this think it's remain. very clear for people. Right. Just do these things and it'll help you. Right. I don't like how this this is linked on step four. Right. I, I, the flow of that is not intuitive to me. And so is this is this document only for newcomers as, in, as is implied here? Because the only way you get to it is really off the website from this page. Um, I, I mean, I would prefer to just keep this, I don't know, structurally, it's not clear so what I how was thinking, these two are connected. So what I was thinking is like keeping this uh, four steps as it is, and then the, this contributor path page needs to be redefined. Like it'll have more explicit for Augur go to this place, for Agrimor lab go to this place, for matrix model go to this place and start contributing over here. Okay. We'll add, uh, so this page will be totally revamped. Okay. Could it also look like this one? It now looks different too. It'll look different because it have headers. Okay, contribute to Augur, contribute to Grimoire Lab, contribute to uh, metrics or something like that. That might also just be because the formatting is different. Like this isn't technically in the knowledge base. Whereas the second one is under the knowledge base umbrella. So it does have a little bit different formatting. Yeah, it's it's formatted. The the second one is formatted, however. Knowledge uh, base is formatted. Okay. Yeah, however they however they chose to format it when they created the document. Yeah. Right, so the, the website uses the default uh, formatting. Uh, we could make them look like each other, but it's just uh, that would have that would involve uh, Communicating uh, some some rules around how these documents are created. So how in this situation, if there's a person who's been with the Chaos Project for two years, and they're like, "I would like to participate in Chaos Cast, for example." Yes. Only via the website, the only path to that document is via Quick Start for new contributors. No, it'll be two steps, either through Quick Start or if they will go to knowledge base, how to contribute, and then it, they can see those things over there. Now so they can click how to contribute, and then they will reach out to there. So we're, we're kind of um, elevating this one. Yes. But if you're an existing member, you actually kind of have to path it a little bit differently. You can go from this path or you can go from the other path. But as a new contributor, you probably wouldn't, or as an existing member, you probably wouldn't come. So knowledge base and how to contribute. You wouldn't come through a quick start. Yes. Yes. Is what I'm saying. You'd, yes. Yeah. They will quick come start. through knowledge base, how to contribute. Quick start should point you to the Zoom calls and Which Slack. Yep. Yeah, and the and the email, the path for newcomers should point you to specific places where you can contribute. Okay. Uh, and we're is, okay is the way is the way we've described it. And we're okay. That's fine. And but and we're uh, okay with that second to only really be for somebody who's a member of the community available this way. Yep. Yeah, so no, the knowledge base is for everyone. It's not just for for newcomers. I know, but like having so. the this certainly highlights for newcomers. Right. So right. that's a that's a shortcut button that we've added 
to the navigation of the website because we, we want to create. So if you go to the main page, there's also a button there. Right? Go ahead and click on that. Right. So we we shortcut to that place in in two places on the website uh, because we really want to help newcomers. Yes, uh, I understand. Find, find understand. their way, but that doesn't mean it, that document shouldn't exist in the knowledge base. Yeah, I'm not arguing. I'm not arguing that it shouldn't exist in the knowledge base. Okay. It doesn't matter. It, I, what I'm saying apparently isn't clear, so that's fine. Sorry if I was misunderstanding. Uh, what are so? What are you saying? All I'm saying is right now, if you're an existing member mm -hmm. of the Chaos Project and you want to participate in Chaos Cast. The only way to under to understand like the path to do that is community knowledge base, knowledge base, how to contribute, and then you ultimately get there. Right. So it's a little bit, it's fine. It's just a, it's a little bit buried compared to how we make that information available for newcomers. That they're they you don't enter they don't the entry points aren't the same. So, so the, maybe we that's can. That's what I'm saying. And Maybe we can slot. keep the same thing and add a pointer directly under the community uh, how to contribute for the existing. Like quick start for new contributor, quick start for the existing. Are you muted? Sorry, I'm not even suggesting that. I'm I'm okay with the different. Okay. I'm okay with it. I just wanted to point that out that they're right. a little bit different. Uh, yes, was, and yeah. I'm okay, Kevin, with keeping like all of the documents that are like on that spreadsheet that you were talking. About. Right. Those would be here. That's so, that totally makes sense to me. So I would say that the knowledge base itself is mainly for existing contributors. Like for new contributors, we've created the, the that shortcut path that that gets them to the quick start. But for new contributor for existing contributors. If they're wanting to find where chaos documentation is located, the knowledge base should point them to it, or it should give it to them. Uh, so the if they want to know how to do chaos cast, that information should be at That's least fine. pointed to somewhere in the knowledge base. I well, I agree. I mean, it needs to be uh, in the knowledge base. I'm not suggesting yeah. removing it from the knowledge base. I'm just. What, the, I, what that page looks like is the is I think what the what we're discussing right so wh whether it's a a whole page that has chaos cast or whether it's just or if it's a uh, a page that has a list of things and chaos cast is on that is in that list yes and I think you it's elsewhere. List. my my only point was not even about that it was just anyway we're at time okay. Okay, so uh, just one thing that needs to be done. Uh, there's a one PR, Don has already reviewed it uh, and it needs to be merged and then updated on the website. So Kevin, as you are updating the website, there's a one PR on the common repo that needs to be merged and already reviewed by Don. Common? Uh, uh, in the, uh, sorry, in the community repo. Community. Yep, community repo. The code of update the code of conduct yes so we are oh. uh, we decided we will keep the code of conduct in dot github folder and all other places will be just pointed to that one so we have a document in governance that will that points to the code of conduct yes okay. yes okay. yeah yeah all right so now this then, looks fine yep fill up your dco uh, I it passed my DCO when Don reviewed it. I re-reviewed it, then it failed my DCO. So uh, <laughs> maybe in my review I didn't uh, put that signature and it failed it. So, <laughs> uh, so the DCO actually the DCO document is uh, is an important document. Yep. Should we keep that in the how to contribute? I as well. Yeah, that's a decent one. That's just like a functional document. Yes. You no, know, I'm okay with that. Okay. I don't know where it would go otherwise. Yeah. Uh, Wouldn't it be a nice pointer? Like if we're like, hey, as you're contributing, don't forget, and here's the document that explains that whole thing. Right. I'm sorry, uh, as a separate document or in the... Uh... Just as a separate document, as it currently okay. is, I think. 
Okay. So keep the don't delete don't delete yeah. that one. Yeah. Because okay. I actually I do actually point people to that document. Just okay. Yeah. Because. So so if there if there's no other if there's no other place for the document to exist, we'll we'll keep it in the community repo and how to contribute. But if there is a better place for it, we'll send it there. Okay. And we'll create a pointer. Yep, exactly. Okay. Yeah, so you will see new PRs from my end coming in some time. Okay, I will, uh, I'll get the, uh, the website changes made today. Okay. Cool. All right, I'm gonna drop Thank off. You. Thanks Thank everybody, good to see you. Too. glad you're in Florida safely. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Thank you, bye-bye. Okay, bye.